pretty much done this job um, except for the bleeding of the brakes so if you know how to do that go ahead if you're not sure or <clears throat> if you don't know how to bleed the brakes by yourself then you can stick around for the rest of this video which is what I'm going to do now so what you're going to do is take a piece of clear plastic tubing put it on the end of your brake bleeder valve run it into a, bot a bottle clear plastic bottle that's elevated and make sure that your hose you're gonna have brake fluid in the bottle and make sure that the hose there is down in the bottom of the bottle which hopefully you can see it is uh, this hose is quarter inch outside diameter by dot zero one seven of an inch inside diameter fits quite nicely over my bleeder valve there now top off the brake fluid in the master cylinder to fall as we bleed the brakes we're going to have to keep going back and make sure that this level on your master cylinder reservoir does not go below minimum because if it does you might end up having to bleed all the brakes I'm using the tur turkey baster method here because this master cylinder reservoir is so hard to get at. Now what I'm going to do is crack that bleeder valve just making sure that my hose stays on there, which it is, just until some brake fluid starts to come out. Yeah, a little more than that. I think you might have seen that actually there might have been some bubbling in the bottle there. Anyway, should see a bit of fluid come out. I don't want to loosen that bleeder valve off too much. Now I'm going to go pump the brakes and you should see fluid start to come in here. And what we're going to want to do is keep pumping the brakes and topping off the fluid in the master cylinder as I mentioned before so it doesn't go too low and we should see fluid and air and once there's no air in it we're good well, pumping the brakes now so you watched it but I didn't because I was pumping the brakes that looks pretty much like clear fluid that's the process keep I'm gonna keep doing that topping off the master cylinder I'm gonna do it a couple more times and uh, uh, once there's nothing but fluid in the line, which pretty much looks like there is now, your brakes are bled, and then you just tighten that bleeder valve back up. Now I've turned the vehicle on <clears throat> so that we'll be able to apply a lot more pressure onto the brake system with the power brakes. Crack that bleeder valve a little bit. Go pump the brakes and see if I see any air coming out of there. Tighten that up. That's the process. Keep doing that until you get the proper amount of brake pressure back in the on your in your uh, brake pedal. We're done. 